Hey everyone, I'm here outside a customer's house today and we're going to be uh, replacing his rear discs and pads on his um, Mini Cooper S. Uh, for, the, for this job you're going to need a 12mm spanner, a 15mm spanner. When I say spanner, uh, you could use, you, you need an open end spanner, you need that, but you could use a, um, a ratchet to, on the other hand. So you can use a 13mm ratchet but you need a 15mm spanner and then you'll need um, an E14, I can't remember now if it's an E14 or E16, to um, to remove the carrier. And then you'll need an Allen key to remove the the disc. It's got a rotating screw on the disc, so you need that. Um, these tend to seize on a little bit, so you need to give them a little whack with a hammer. So you might need one of them too. Um, but let's let's crack on with it. I've already got the uh, the, um, the car jacked up and on stands, so we're going to dive straight in into removing the the caliper. Uh, so let's head over and have a look. Okay, so we're getting a stuck straight in here. So we're going to be using a 13 mil to enter the bolt on the back, and then a, a 15 mil to hold the retaining bolt on the inside. And we'll just work that loose. I, uh, I normally advise not to take it all the way out the first time, and this is why if you're watching at the top of the caliper. This is why you just crack them both off and then loosen them off together. Makes things a lot difficult, more difficult. But it's alright, we can live with it. So we're just going to remove those bolts now. They're the, the caliper retaining bolts, or securing bolts, mounting bolts. With them removed, we're going to wiggle the caliper free and remove the pads. This one's a little bit stuck in, first thing I grab is a spanner. A screwdriver would probably been better or a pry bar. But we got it out. Hopefully yours are free and not stuck in. And now that's off. We're going to remove this bolt here on the back. It's an E14 or an E16. You can see it's on there quite tight, so I'm just going to hammer it off with my hand. It would have been ideal, really, if I had a, a 3.8 um, breaker bar, which I don't have. So I'm just going to have to hit the ratchet. Once it's loose, then, just work it out. Again, like I said about the, the other one, the other cal caliper bolts, don't um, undo the top one all the way and work out the bottom one first as well. Tuck it up out of the way, and you can give it a good whack with your hand on there as well. Watch out. And then when they're all loose out of the way, you can just move the carrier out of the way, and move on to the disc. Now it would have probably been easier to do this with the disc, but we're going to remove this screw. It's the, the, the disc retaining screw. So I mean, it would be easy to do it with the, the caliper on, but I want to show you my trick. Now if you go down the middle, like that, you remove any lateral movement, so it makes it a lot easier. Obviously, if you went out on the outside, you'd spin the disc. You're almost fighting against the spin. That's stuck on, so we're going to give it a little whack with a hammer on these surfaces. Bang, 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 and it's free. I'm going to uh, speed through the reassembling because I'm pretty sure you can work out how to reassemble from the disassembling instructions. It's just a reverse order. This looks good, doesn't it? And now we've, we've got the pads and they're re-greased and the carrier is cleaned and the pistons run back in. I'll put a, um, a link on the screen somewhere in the description to tell you how to do that properly if you're unsure how to. But we're just tightening everything down now. Okay, so I've uh, I finished recording on um, uh, refitting the, refitting the, the caliper. 
Uh, at the moment, obviously, the the, uh, the piston's been wound back in. Um, you need a special tool for that. I forgot to mention it at the start. Um, but I'll leave a link in the description for a set. So it's a universal set. You can get the cubes, but I prefer the sets. But anyway, I'll leave you a link for that in the description. His name has just turned up now. I look like a weirdo. Um, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, so uh, when you're going to need to... Uh, You're going to need to uh, set the pads. Obviously, when you press the piston back in, these pads are not slightly sat on the disc properly. So you need to go in, and before you pull up the handbrake, you need to pump the pedal a little bit. Um, and once you're happy where they are, crack on with the job. Well, crack on with your day. Obviously, put the wheel on too. <laughs> right, cheers, thanks. These neighbours look at me weird, so I'm going to go, but please subscribe. Bye.